Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am just going to do a quick video today where I share my Lightroom export settings for wedding clients. So I'm going to show you how I export my images for full resolution. So that's perfect for prints and then social media size. Now I personally deliver all my wedding images to couples in full resolution and social media size. Now I know a lot of photographers don't do that and that's obviously just personal choice for me. The reason I do it is because if you put a full size image on Facebook, Facebook just doesn't like how big the file is and it makes the image blurry and the quality just poor. And it's just something that's always bothered me, just seeing like a stunning image look terrible shared all over Facebook. So whenever I deliver a gallery, I give the clients two folders, one with all their images in full, full size and then one with all their images in social media size. Just so then it makes me feel better just to see my images looking really sharp and really crisp on social media. So I'm going to show you quickly both those settings that I use in Lightroom. So I've got a full gallery here already. So obviously you can click on one image or I don't know if you know, but if you press command and A, you can select the entire gallery. Then you're going to come down to export and you come up with this page. So we'll start at the top. So export location. So personally, I choose to export to a specific folder and then I will choose the folder where I want the images to go. So normally before I'm going to export, I will make a folder where I want them all to go. And then when I come to export, I just have to choose that folder. I don't put them in a subfolder or do anything else here. So then we come down to file naming. So I rename them to a custom name. Um, obviously I've got my name there, but you know, if it was Abby and Tom, for instance, I might name it Abby and Tom. I just think it looks nicer to have their names rather than just a bunch of random numbers and figures in there. So yeah, I rename it and then I ignore the video tab and then I come down to file settings. So I am looking at what I do for a full resolution image here, by the way, just to be clear. Uh, so I will have my image format as JPEG, my color space as sRGB and my quality at 100. I then come down to image sizing. So this is the important one. <laughs> so for a full resolution image, I do not resize it. I don't touch its size because you want it to be the biggest and best possible size it can be for printing. So I just don't resize it. I leave this unticked and then I set the resolution to 300 pixels per inch. So then you have the option to output sharpening. I personally don't do that for full resolution images, but if I was going to, I would choose either matte paper or glossy paper and I'd probably choose standard. But again, that's up to you, but I tend to leave it off. So metadata, watermarking, post-processing, I don't touch them. So that is my full resolution image export settings right there. So if I was gonna then export them for social media, I do exactly the same up here. I do exactly the same here. Uh, I do exactly the same here. The only difference is in image sizing. So I press resize to fit. I choose long edge and I set it to 2048 pixels. Then I change the resolution to 70. I then come down to output sharpening and I do press screen and standard. And that is it, that is it in a nutshell. Um, I hope that helps. I really wanted to make this video because I remember years ago when I first started out doing photography. This is something that you think would be easy to find the information for, but I remember when I first started out and I didn't have any idea how to export in Lightroom and I found it so hard to find this information. So I really wanted to make this video just to help others out who are perhaps in that same situation. So please do subscribe to my channel because I've got lots more videos planned coming up. And thank you so much for listening.